Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. This week we are going to install an Exmoor trim uh, carpet set for the front of the Defender. So we'll get this tarp off and then we will get cracking. Let's go. As you saw in a previous video, we have the seat box and the, the floor panels and the, the transmission tunnel. We have it all um, painted, sound deadened, and now we're gonna clean it out. My dad's coming out, he's gonna give us a hand and we're gonna fit the Exmoor trim um, carpet set for the front of, of the Defender. Um, it's for the R380 um, transmission. So we'll get that all installed, hopefully this evening while it's light, um, and we'll, we'll show you guys the process of us doing that. So here we have our Exmoor trim delivery. So we'll do the unboxing. the corner protectors for the seat box and then the carpet kit comes in this nice extra trim bag So the lighting definitely got the better of us there. As you can see behind me, it's it's gotten dark, but we got we got the carpet started. We had a few little teething issues because we have a, kind of a rubber acoustic mat that sits in the footwell, and it actually it takes off probably about eight, nine, maybe ten mil off the space. So the the Exmoor trim panel carpet panels that go in that section they're they're a little wide for it so when it's bright tomorrow we'll get everything fitted in and we'll have a look and see what we want to do whether we just want to keep the acoustic panels there whether we want to carpet on the metal and then put the acoustic mats over the top of that and um, because i think that'll work and then we'll just have the footwell mat that goes in um, on top of that so we'll, we'll play about a bit with it in the morning we're going to we're going to go and grab some food, get a reasonably early night, and we'll be back in in the morning, and we'll show you guys what we're going to do with the rest of the carpeting. See you then. It's a new morning. We are back. We are going to continue on the carpeting, but let me show you what we did last night. <clears throat> so we got our carpet stuck down, really high quality. Exmoor trim. So we did the same. So it goes all along the front. And then we'll have the panels that go in the footwell over the, the transmission tunnel. So everything should be. Let me zoom out a little bit. There we go. So everything should be sitting nice and flush and everything looking pretty. There's still little bits to touch up, but maybe just touch them up with a small paintbrush just to have everything um, sitting and looking as best as possible. Let me show you the other side. So, same setup on this side. So, as you can see, the whole way through. So, I'm gonna keep going. I'm gonna get the transmission tunnel done, um, and then we'll, we'll see how it all looks when we're finished. So, the tape that came with the the carpet set it's okay but it's not super strong we actually went for a a premium grip tape diy doctor and uh, we just got it off amazon um, and it's a lot stronger so you know we don't have to worry about 
edges peeling off and, and things like that over time but we're kind of using a mix and match so kind of on the edges we're using this and then kind of on central pieces we're using this to, to hold everything down so i'll do a test fit first to make sure that everything sits all right How good does that look? Look at that. We now have our Exmoor trim carpet set in and it's looking great. Let's take a closer look. Look at that. Really nice detail. The Exmoor trim with the the heel, the rubber heel mats. I'll zoom out so you get more of it in. Look at that. Seats in after probably about six months being out. Got the carpet set throughout. How good is that?